everybody, this is Miss Nook, your science teacher, and today I'm here to show you the soil and water lab. This is the hands-on version of the soil and water lab, so if you're doing the virtual lab, you don't need to watch this video. Anyway, in order to do this lab, you need two containers, some water, the potting soil from your lab kit, and two thermometers from your lab kit. What you're going to do Oh, you also need a light source that can produce heat. What you're going to do is you're going to take your soil, loosely fill one of the containers about three quarters of the way up, and you're going to take some water and fill the other container about three quarters of the way up. And then you're going to take your thermometers and stick them in so that the bulb on the back of the thermometer is below the soil and below the water. And then you're going to place these under your heat source. You want to be using the same heat source for both your water and your soil so that you don't vary the temperatures of your heat source. And the heat source is going to act like the sun. So I have my heat source directly on top of my soil and my water here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to monitor the temperature in Celsius for one minute, three minutes, five minutes, and ten minutes. And I'm going to keep track of those temperatures in my data table for the lab. Then when I'm done, I'm going to turn off my heat source and I'm going to track the temperatures for five minutes and for ten minutes and record those temperatures in my lab report. And that's how you do this lab. 